talk to i think we have let's see raise your hands raise your hands okay i see several hands oh i think ron johnny raised her hand there ron johnny raise hey david hey. hi hi ron johnny how are you really good you look really comfy it's so comfy <laughs> so tell us tell tell me a little something about you and letter writing and since that's what we're talking about today my family are my sister is a screenwriter she writes scripts and i write too uh-huh yeah and do you have you ever written her a letter sometimes yes <laughs> oh, okay on what occasion so like a special occasion or just because your heart was filled with love and you decided to share it i'm saying for my cousins and my sister <laughs> Wonderful. And do you get letters in return sometimes? Sometimes I do. Feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And I think, so when you get a letter from somebody, if you get a letter of appreciation, a letter of thanks, a letter, just a love letter, what do you like it to say? Hmm. What about you do you hope they notice? Probably my cousins at Philippines. Uh-huh. I make sure I love them and I miss them so much since I was three years old. <laughs> yes. It's all about yeah. love and appreciation, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, thank you, honey. I hope you do lots more of them in your life. I will. Thank you, Janet. And, and I'll tell you, if you get yourself a nice fancy little pen somehow. Oh, yeah. My sister has that one, too. <laughs> Does she? You know, you, yes. can get, you can get these on Amazon and they sell them. Mm-hmm. Good, I'm glad. Yeah. And by the way, so I just want to say also, when you address an envelope, a couple of colored pens. <laughs> nice. You could you could just make an envelope a festival. Why yeah, not? I love colors too. Okay, good. You could. Do you ever draw pictures? I, I, I am the artist. I right? make drawings and writing, everything. Oh, good. Okay. Do you have a special thing that you like to draw best? I draw cakes and fashion and make my teacher David laugh every time. <laughs> Say that again. He's my favorite assistant from Bunch of Players, so I'm dedicated to David and Mary Rings. <laughs> okay, good. So you got lots in your heart and you got lots of people that you can send love to. Yeah. For Bunch of Players. He's my favorite guy from Bunch of Players, uncle. Me oh. and Isabel. And, and you've written to him? The Brunswick Players family. You know, sometimes it's hard to find out where to send a letter. But I think saying, always, yeah. I was just saying, there always, there's always somebody who can help us find an address. Yeah. I've done that sometimes. Sometimes the hunt for an address, you have to be such a detective. But it's kind of yeah. fun. Okay. I love I love to be a detective too. I wanna watch like Meryl War Detective. <laughs> Good. Well thank you for talking to me here. You're welcome, right Janet. You look still beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. Bye. Bye. Oh my goodness. Let's see who is next. Oh, I see Christy Chu. Let's see, Christy Chu. You're raising your hand and here she is. Hi, Christy. Hi. How are you? Nervous. Nervous? Oh, tell me why. Never done this before. Do you feel do you feel like you're just shy sometimes? A little bit. Okay, well, you know, sometimes you have to just be aware that you're nervous and we'll talk anyway. Okay? Okay, so do you ever do you ever get a nice letter that you like? Um, yeah, my cousin. Good. Okay. Do you have a lot of cousins? Do you have a big family? Yeah, I don't see them very often, but for like birthdays, Christmas, 
um, they send me letters. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, those are the, those are the times that you want to hear from somebody. Hey, Hey, I'm here and I'm thinking about you. Okay. And so if you got a letter of your dream choice, if you could get any letter you like, what would it say about you? Beautiful. Like your best parts. What's your, what's your, what do you want people to know and appreciate about you most, if you can say? It's a hard question to answer. You would? I'm not sure how to answer that. Okay. Well, I mean, first of all, are you a hardworking person? Yes, I am. Do you work hard? So that's something that would be nice I'm to hear. I'm a journal writer. You what? I'm a journal writer. Yes. Okay. All right. Gazillions of journals. Oh, nice. Okay, what do you do with them when they're all filled up? Read them. You what? I read them. Oh, you read them. Okay, good for you. So that's like a love letter to yourself. Do you sometimes get surprised by what you remember when you look back? Kind of, yeah. I. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> I just breathed in a piece of dust. Okay, I'm good. Um, so I think sometimes when we read what we've written a long time ago, <coughs> we're reading about the truth about ourselves. And even if you don't feel that way now, it's interesting to see what you felt was the truth. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I get that way a lot of times. It's very dry. Oh my goodness. Okay. There's a lot of smoke in the air too from all the fires. Oh. <coughs> Are you suffering from that down there? Yeah. That's just terrible. That's happening again. I want to ask you a question if you can help me with it. Sure. Uh, how can I work this? I'm infatuated by this individual and I don't know how to handle myself. Do you know where this individual lives? Do you have an address? No. I'll it's tell you what, Zoom. I'll tell you why I'm asking. Go ahead, what were you gonna say? It's on Zoom on Tuesdays and I just can't get over how I feel about this individual. Oh, I know how that feels. Is that hard for you because you don't know what to do? Yeah, <laughs> basically, yes. I usually don't exploit myself, but I figured since you're a famous person. And oh, thank you, sweetheart. Well, you know, I'm, guide me or something. <laughs> I'm famous mostly to my children, but let me just say, it's a wonderful opportunity to put down. Now, I know that it's not easy to, you know, just talk about how much you love somebody that maybe you don't know well enough to say that, but it's, I think it's a wonderful thing to do if you can get this person's address to say, dear. I don't think I want to do it, Doug, because he might think I'm crazy. Well, just listen and see if you can think about it, because maybe in two weeks that will make sense to you to drop a little note and saying, I was talking to somebody about letter writing and I was thinking of you and how much I would like to have your friendship forever. And then just sign your name. Oh, may I ask you that question? Pardon me? I want to add something else to that. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> okay. I know that's I know that might be hard to do, but okay, here's something. You can do a practice. Write it and don't mail it. Okay. Just write it down and look at it. Because I think sometimes, I don't think, I'm sure of this. Sometimes we are so shy and so uncomfortable about something we feel that we just barely know. It. And then when we write it down and look at it, not only is it nothing terrible, it might be something nice. And if the weird thing is, Janet, he's married. Aha, uh -huh. well that does, okay. So that complicates things. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um, and so you wouldn't want to take the chance of you know upsetting or offending his wife, yeah. right? Do you know them as a couple? Um, I don't know. Okay, well, you could still do it. You could still do it. You can say, this is just 
a note of friendship and that I am so glad for yours. Simple. And then just sign it. And you're not, you're not asking him to run away with you. Well, you're not. <laughs> you're just expressing, and you know, maybe a friendship will stay a friendship forever. And you'll be happy about that. You know what the weird thing is, Janet? I'm madly, I'm madly in love with him. Well, that's that's difficult. Why don't you just drop a note? Don't mail it. Just write it and let it sit on your table and look at it. And then if you Good ever feel, if you ever feel comfortable enough to drop him a note and say, I'm I just want to tell you I'm very happy about our friendship. You know, and you could even say my best to you and your wife and then sign your name. Kind of, you know, non um, kind of neutral, neutral, but friendly. Will you try it and then just let it sit on your table? Don't mail it. Try a few versions yeah, well. and see what that does to you. I hope you'll do it. Yeah. Okay. You know, there's nothing to feel, by the way, there's nothing to feel shy about when you love somebody. You're never the worst for offering friendship. Sometimes it's a hard and brave thing to do, but you're never the worst a person for it. You're the nice guy who's sending an affectionate letter. Okay, write it out, leave it on your table okay. and let it sit there and, and read it again and again and see what it does. Will you do that? I will. Okay, you know, I, I'd love to hear how that works. By the way, I once helped a man who was so in love with this woman and he didn't know what to do. And he was a little afraid. He was a little shy because he used crutches. He had had polio as a child. And anyway, we, I helped him write a letter and he sent it and he didn't win her heart. They worked together. He did not win her heart. She sent him a very nice letter back saying, you know, a romance can't be because she just didn't feel the same. And I felt just so sad. And I said, I'm so sorry that it worked out that way. He said, don't be. He said, I felt so good that I did it. And that was the end of that. He felt brave and good that he had offered himself, even though she didn't take him up on it. So there's something to be said about offering friendship. Love it. Oh, what a great one. Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to be, um, I, I know we have about, I have 30 minutes left. And again, we're going to try to get everybody. Um, so I'm going to now stick to the people with their, their uh, yellow, you know, the, the automatic hands up. So we're going to start with Mr. James Powell. James Powell. Hey, David. Hey. Hi, James. Hey, Janet. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So what do you what do you have to say in this whole conversation about letter writing? Because I'm a good letter writer about the ghost writing about music. About what? About the ghost writing about music. Is that right? Yeah. What do you what do you say and where do you send it? I send it to Joe uh, Stevie me because about the ghost writing while, while I was doing the vocals. I've been doing it all day. So you actually have sent your writing to some place. Yeah. Wonderful. That's kind of the name of the game. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Love Thank it. you. I hope you do more of it. Yeah. Do you have Do you have family that you can send letters to? Uh, like my mom, my brother, my dad, my there sister. You oh, wonderful. You could just send a little note to each one of them. A little yeah. postcard. A little a little small envelope. To each one separately, maybe one a week. Oh, uh, yeah. Just thinking of you, and I want to tell you how much I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Love you too, David. Love all you guys in the studio. Pardon me? I say I love you. I love you. I love David. I love my friends. I love everybody. Oh, else. you have all kinds of people to send love letters to. I hope you do it. Yeah. Okay, thank you for telling me all this. Yeah, I believe you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Let's see, Ryan Jamin. Ryan, are you there? Love you guys. Let's see, we're unmuting Ryan. Ryan, let's. Bye, David. Love you too. All righty. Love you. 
There's Ryan. Da, 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 da. Let's see here. Come on, David. Spotlight. David, I love your little introductory song. It's like a little circus thing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, ba, 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 ba. It's like the, the, you know, three ring. Okay. Who's in the center ring today? That's Ryan, hi there. Hi, Janet. How you doing? How are you? I'm good. I'm particularly good. I'm having such a good time talking to you all. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about you. And um, what do you have to say about letter writing? Well, if I, anything. I, Ryan, I, let's see your whole face. Yeah, sit, oh, there you go, good. Good, oh, that's excellent. Handsome face, you should show the whole thing. Okay, go ahead. So do you ever write letters? Do you ever get letters? Oh, yeah, I wrote a letter to my teacher back in 2014. Oh, excellent. Excellent. And was that teacher as happy as can be? Yeah, I miss her so much. She was on her way to UC, um, USC College. She wanted to go for higher education. Uh -oh. so Wait, sit up a little more so I could see your whole face. There you go. Okay. So <clears throat> you say you still miss her, this teacher? Yeah, I missed her from 2014. She was a female teacher. She was nice and sweet. And I... She was my gardening teacher, and I just. She was your what teacher? She was my. She was my gardening teacher. Gardening? How yeah. wonderful! Where did you get to have a teacher in gardening? You're so lucky. Well, I went to this this nursery um, center. It's called. Um, it was. Um, it was actually a center. It was called International Gardens, and she. We used to plant flowers together. And, I used to give her hugs all the time. Oh, nice. Oh, the pandemic's made that hard, hasn't it? We can't hug people anymore right now. I know, I can't wait to get back to that. So you have a love for flowers and plants? Yeah, we used to plant Japanese peppers like in the soil. Is that, okay, I was gonna ask, do you have favorites? Well, have you ever heard of a sunflower or a succulent plant? A what? A succulent plant, a succulent plant. Oh, oh. I have not only heard about succulents, I have quite a little collection. I love succulents. Go ahead, your turn. Yes. Yeah, well, actually, succulents are good, but I don't know what type of flower that is, but I know a sunflower seed likes to, they like, they like a lot of sun. Yes. Oh, succulents, yes. I, I happen to have learned a lot about succulents because when my granddaughter was about two, she developed a real love for them and she would tell me what they are. So yeah, succulents and thistles, but do you have a favorite flower, actual colorful flower? Well, or do you just you, love them all? You know, have you ever heard of a hummingbird? It a what? Like a hummingbird. A hummingbird? It actually likes the nectar of the, the flower. No, I mean, I have a lot of learning to do, but yes. so. That's so great. That is so nice. So did you just write one letter to her? Did you write more or what? Just one letter. Okay. Is she is she ready for another one? No, oh, she's gone now. She left oh, her. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. Okay. Does she have family? Oh, yeah. She's married. She's gone now. Oh, okay. But yeah. how nice that you did write to her when you did. Oh, I hope you I, get to have I, it. Pardon? I truly expressed a lot of love to her. She was Oh, very that's wonderful. I, I hope that your life is filled with people who teach you good things and that you love. Thank you for telling me about this. Yeah. I like it. Bye. Well, next we have Miss Zuli Johnson. Hi, Zuli Johnson. Hi. How are you? I'm yeah. good, dear. How are you? Good morning. Yeah, I love writing letters to to anyone who is oh, part of I'm my so life. Oh, I'm so happy! To, I'm so happy to hear that. So you've yeah, written a lot um, of letters. You've written a lot. Yes. Then I do artwork too. I I love to draw um, flowers, roses, and one person is close to my heart because I know her all my life. Um, is my teacher from the East Coast. Uh -huh. Every year in college, I will, uh, every 
yeah, it, that and cars. I write her letters, get her Christmas, Christmas gift. Until this year, um, I found out she's not feeling better than, uh, and something in my gut, I had to send her out a card to say, have a nice summer, spring time. And she loved me, and she, with her response, she said, Santa Julie, I love you. And the final one, I gave her for um, almost a month ago, and I, I told her how wonderful she is, and I tried to save her out. I hope she had a lovely summer. And that was five days before she received the um, pop, five days before she died. Oh, how lucky she was to have you in her life. Yeah, she's wonderful. She's, and she likes to do, um, she's a special ed teacher and and she teaches me all different things in pop or like. Um, she gives me good advice when I go visit her when I see her and she likes to talk about Ireland. You know, I can, I can, I can see what I can. And she always means. Yes, I can see why she's so important to you because she taught and you things. She taught you so much that helps you in life, right? Yes. And you yes. always, yes. and you yes. always have what they taught us. We always have what our teachers taught us. Thank you. This is just wonderful. To know that you have had this whole relationship through letters. Oh, yes. Letters. yes. Just beautiful. Oh. You're a lovely, lovely soul. Oh, thank you. And you have beautiful blonde curly hair. Yes. Thank you. I think it's blonde. Yes. Oh, it looks, it looks blonde. <laughs> it's a little bit gray. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see who's next. Well, I see Linda is raising her hand, so we'll go to Linda. Linda, let's go. Hi. Hi, Linda, let's go. How are you? Good. You okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. So what, what, what would you like people to know about you? Okay. Um, I was smooth girl, and my mom, they had an egg, and she had egg too, and she liked me, and she was good, and, and it had a birthday, and she was me birthday, and one day, my mom, me, and my mother got to her house and um, her aunt, her mind of God. Yeah. And, but my mom and me, I don't know what to do, and I never write. Never, never write? Never write? No. Never write? No. Somebody, could, somebody could help you? Um, my mom has me to write. Okay. And, okay, well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. And she put in my head, she died. Oh. And we put four, my mother died, too. That's such a sad thing. Yeah. Yes. And, and I had no sister, no brother. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Okay. What about friends? Him and my school. Yeah. You have, you have friends who love you, right? Yeah. Good. Okay. That's a beautiful purple color, by the way. Thank beautiful. you. Beautiful. I like purple. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And nice talking to you. Yeah, with you. Thank uh, you, dear. I love yeah. it. 
Well, we have about 15 minutes left, so I'm going to, uh, I want to see people raising their hand for- And we'll try, to make, we'll try to make the next few short so everyone can get in. All righty. I see, uh, uh, oh, I see Christina is next, and, oh. and there she is. And keep raising your hands at, at, during the, the in-between. <laughs> Hi, Christina, how are you? Hi. Oh, you look like such a cheerful person. Yes. Right. Say it again. Pardon? You look like you're feeling good. Thank you. Yes. So do you ever do you ever get letters from people that you like? Uh yes. Good. Okay. May I ask who do you, who do you, who writes you letters? Uh the letter to Caleb. And she, my friend, said, I'm going to date with the boy named Caleb. Is she so nice? Is she so pretty? And I'm going to date with Caleb. So I love you, Caleb. Uh, it's a best friends ever. Caleb, huh? Oh, good. You know, to have a best friend all your life is the best thing we can do. Yeah. So happy. Yeah. I love you. I love you, Caleb. And can you put that in a, yes, definitely. Can you put that in a little note and send it? Yes. Good. Yes. Thank I think you. Well, there's Caleb. Nice meeting you. Caleb. Bye, Christina. Yeah. Bye, honey. Oh, Caleb and G okay. Yes. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's see. Keep raising your hands. Let's see. Oh, we have Sean and Igor, and I, I, I'm trying to. We'll try to get everybody in. There's okay. Sean Mercado. Hi, Bye. Sean. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you look like, I don't, I shouldn't assume this, but are you the kind of person who likes to write people notes? Well, I do like writing people notes. Well, um, my grandparents usually send, send me, uh, send us a card and some letters and all that stuff. Good. In their own handwriting. Yes. I love, I used to do, I used to write notes like, um, like writing stuff on the paper, writing with in pencil, pen, like in signature. Uh huh. Yeah, I also like signing stuff. Well, I'm glad that you have that from your grandparents because I will tell you, as a grandmother, it is so wonderful to write to our grandchildren and know that our notes make them happy. Thank you, dear. I hope you get to write back to them. Yeah, I hope so too. Okay, thank you. Let's see. I think you I too. took Igor's hand. Igor Zaninish. Yes. Hi, Janet. How are you? Hi, Igor. I'm good. How are you? Great to uh, meet you. Thank you. I feel the same. It's more than a pleasure, actually. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. So, are you a, are you a letter writer? Uh, believe it or not, I'm legally blind, partially sighted. I do have some sight. I remember writing letters to these people as I was growing up. Uh -huh. I, could I could never say no to. I gave them anything and everything they ever wanted. I never could say no to them. And I just wanted to make them happy. And that was my only way of realizing and accepting to myself that I could make them happy is by never saying no to them. Oh, well, how wonderful that you had it in your heart to make them happy. Yes. Did they make God. you happy? Yes, I was happy afterwards. Uh, oh. unfor unfortunately, uh, those people were users and abusers. Oh my, that's not good. No, it's not. Uh huh. I, I, did you I, did I, you find a way of putting them out of your life? I uh, yes, I I did. Okay. Thank, thank God. Yes, thank God. Good for you. Oh, I wish you. I wish you a smoother and totally happy life with all the rest of it. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. All, all the best to you. God bless you. Thank have, you. 
Have the greatest day and greatest week ahead. Thank you. I wish you the same. Thank you so much. Bye. How about we do, uh, let's see, raising hands. What about Paris? Are you interested, Paris? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, hi, Paris. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So I'm asking the same thing now because I, I just want to know if, if you were to get a letter from somebody, what would you like it to say about you? Um, how much they love me. Yes. That's what we all need to know. Yes, do you for love, sure. Do you love your friends a lot? You look like you I do. Friend. Yes. I do. I love all my friends. Do you ever drop, do you ever write to them? Is it, I, is it time for you to get a little piece of stationery <laughs> and a little stamp and put it together and drop your friends a note to say, I love you too? I can. I have like one address, but. Other than that, I have like nowhere to send them to. Because because you don't know the addresses. Yeah. Can somebody help you find the addresses? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, it's something to think about. Totally. And if you if you can ever find the address of someone you care about, this little guy is waiting for you. Totally. Thank you, honey. I'm glad that of, we met. Of course. Me too. Bye. Good luck. Bye. Miracle Gaines. Miracle Gaines. Hi, David. Hi, Miracle. Hi. Hi, Miracle. Hi. Nice. What a wonderful. You. What a wonderful name. Uh, yes. Thank you. So I I knew a child once named Miracle, but her she went by the nickname of Mira. Do you have a nickname, or you go by the whole thing? Oh, uh, just Miracle Games, that's all. That's wonderful. Like, it's just like, yeah, like Miracle, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. So, <laughs> do you ever, do you ever do the miracle of sending yeah. something a love letter? Uh, I write, write love letters to my best friend in Vegas because oh, I go good. see them in Vegas and, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. So we got a letter writer here. Good, Love and you it. keep and you keep a relationship yes. going with letters. That's wonderful. Thank you. Yes, dear. you up. All right, now Francisco. Francisco, hello. Were you interested in Francisco? Yes. Mm -hmm. It was a first time meeting you, and. Uh, Honestly, I I never wrote any uh, letters before in my life. I never ever, sent them to me. <laughs> did you ever get one? Nope, never in my life. Huh, would you consider writing one? Uh, you know, I'm not sure if I'm uh, cut out for it, you know? Oh, that's an interesting point. What would make a person cut out for it? Only my, my hobbies the most. Uh -huh. I love to do things for my life, but others, I don't have much of a time. Okay. To do it. But you have one person you like doing for. Uh, no, it's just me and myself. I don't have anyone to, uh, uh, you know, work things out together. You know, you look like a very clear thinking, lovely person. And if it's only you, okay, maybe you could do this. Maybe you'd be too shy, but I would, I would hope you could. Why don't you sit down and write yourself a letter? You know that song, I'm gonna sit right down and write myself a letter? Yep. That was some very good advice. What if you wrote a letter to yourself, dear Francisco, here's what I think is the best things about you. And then you just list them, put your address, stick a stamp on, put it in the mail, and then see what happens. I Will you think that. about it? You know, I'll, if, you're, I'll, I'll if, if, if you're your own best company, I'm guessing that you are kind of your own best company sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope you write yourself a letter. I'm glad I got to plant the thought. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Question is, if, if I have the time to do it, you know, and if I did, it would be really, 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 really fun. It'd be really what? It'll be really fun. I, it is really fun. Oh, I mean, if I have the time to do it. Okay, I hope you find the time because, mm -hmm. you know, you deserve the time to have a little fun. 
for sure. Okay, thank you. Nice meeting you. All righty. Uh, oh, I see uh, Teresa. There we go, Teresa. Hey, Jen, so lovely to meet you. Hi, Teresa. Okay, what can we talk about for letter writing in your life? I never receive um, a letter in the mail. Never, only bills. Oh, that's no fun. Yes. <laughs> but no. um, I wrote a letter um, when I was growing up. I did wrote a letter before I lost my sight. Uh huh. Um, to my mom, and told her how much I love her. And oh, good. Okay. Her and followed by question, of course. You know how it's like if she's here and yes, all of that. I do know that. I have a question to ask you. There's really no reason. I mean, you may have one, but you say before you lost your sight, but you've lost your sight, but you still have how you feel about people you love, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, can somebody sit down with you and you dictate what you want the letter to say? I would do that. Yeah, I actually do that these days since okay, technology is there. Oh, well, that too. Yes, there's some miracle things out there, but um, okay. So you're not limited in writing love letters. No, ma'am. You can still do it. You've still got the power to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that you wrote to your mom. Well, I, I think we have five people left and then we've gotten through everybody. Okay, let's do it. I think we can do it. I think we have, uh, let's see, um, Alec Nicholas, Alec Nicholas. Hey, Alec. Hey, what good? Oh, you guys. That's a good question. You tell me what's going on. Do you ever write letters? Yeah. Good. Who do you write to? No, I put the mail in the mailbox. Oh, I want to talk about that. And then I'll let you go and maybe you'll write one. There's something about putting a letter in the mailbox yourself. See it go in that little slot and know that your job is done. And I, I think there's just a real feeling of power taking what you think and what you feel, writing it down for somebody, and then you put it in the mailbox. You know why? Because you are in charge. Yeah. When it comes to letter writing, you are in charge. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you know that. Thank you, dear. I'm happy we met. I love it. I love it. No, we have Matthew. Matthew is coming up. What's up, David? Hey. There he is. Hi, Matthew. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing fine. How about you? Hey, by the way. Hey, David. Yes? It's go. She rock. Yes, she does rock. Yeah. <laughs> so now let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Okay, now who is your favorite? Who... <clears throat> but okay, now who is your favorite heavy metal band? Oh, I don't know. Do you like now? Have you ever heard of Slipknot before? I, you know, I have. I have favorite rappers. Like who? Sure. Who's your favorite but, rapper? But not heavy metal. I don't know much about them. Oh my god! Uh, but okay. I have something to learn. Yeah, but okay. But okay, I want you to look up this heavy metal band called Cannibal Courts. Okay. You're gonna like them. They are. They said, and I want you to look up another heavy metal band called Hey Breathe and Slipknot. I will do that. I they think we're gonna all look. Okay, and I've, and I've got a question for you. So yeah. these are musicians you like, have you ever written them a, a fan letter? No, never. That's what I'm thinking. Would, would you try? Yeah, I do want to do that so bad. Good, because if you do love all them, all my good. heavy metal bands and the whole world. Okay. okay. That's what I'm gonna do. Thank you. They're gonna like hearing from you, Matthew. I can't wait. Okay, good. Thank you. Larry Vance, Larry hey. Vance. Hi. Hi, how Larry. I'm good, dear, how are you? Um, I'm well. You okay? Yes. Okay, could things be better? Yes. Uh-huh. Um, I love 
Well, I didn't go to my girlfriend. Oh, good. And my family, my sister, and my mom, and granny. So um, take your family and my mom and granny. So you have a lot of people who love you. That's the best. Okay, and you could write any one of those people, I hope you do, a note and put it in an envelope and stamp it. Will you do it? Yes, I'm gonna do it, yes. That makes me so happy to hear that. Thank you, dear. Me too. Okay, Thank I'm, you. I'm happy for them that they're gonna get letters from you. Very nice. Very nice. I think it's time for Ashley Anderson. Ashley Anderson. There we go. Hi, Ashley Anderson. Hi. Hi. How are you? Eh? Good. And what do we say about letter writing? Do you have a big family? Do you have people you love? Yes. And do they ever write you a letter? No. They should. Okay. So do you feel like you could write somebody a letter in your family? Yes. Will you? I'm glad. Okay. Because oh. it'll it'll make them so happy. It'll make them so happy to get a letter from you. A nice short little letter just telling them what you love best about them. It's gonna it's gonna make a huge difference in their lives. Will you do it? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, we're coming down to the last couple. We have Summer Armstrong. Summer Armstrong. Hi, Summer Armstrong. How are you? Okay. Good. I see you're standing in front of something with some collectible family plates. Is that right? That's true. Okay. Do you have a big family? I have a big family. And do you ever write letters? Um, no. Would you consider it? Would you like to? I like to write a letter. You don't write letters? No. Well, maybe someday you feel like you might want to write one. Who's the most important person in your family to you, if you have a most important My dad and my mom. Oh, that's like it should be. Okay. And are they still with us? They are. Okay. And have they ever gotten a letter from you? No. No. Would it make them happy to get a letter from you? Yes. They'd be happy. Yes, they'd be happy. I think that's all you need to know. Take a little piece of stationery envelope and you write a little note just saying how much you love them and you put it in the mail and you are going to make two people so happy they'll hardly know what to do. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Pardon? They'd be nice. It would be nice. Oh, they're so lucky to have you for a daughter. Thank you. How lucky they are. Okay. Thank you. I know you're gonna. I know you're gonna write one this week. I'm gonna try. Okay. I love it. There we go. Logan Chen. Logan Chen. Hi, Logan. Hi. Hi. How are you? Doing pretty good. You? you know what? You're sitting in front of some very beautiful vases and plants. Yes. Uh, let me ask you something. What is it you do best in life? Ooh. I love writing. I write to my friends. Good. Oh, you win a gold star, my dear. You win a big gold star. Okay. Well, if you love writing and you love to your friends, you're just, that's just perfect. Thank you. I'm glad you have that sign. Yeah, I think it did. Very smart. Thank you. Oh, Jonathan Pineda, Jonathan Pineda. Hi, Jonathan. Hey. You, know, you, know, you know who I miss? What, who? My dad, my daddy, he didn't tell me I miss him. Oh, of course you do. Yes. Maybe you could write a letter to him. Wait, what did I say? 
Oh, you just say all, you say what you just said to me. You said, I miss him. So a letter that just says, dear dad, I miss you. Love Jonathan. That's a beautiful enough love yeah. letter. Yes. Maybe you'll do that. Yeah. Okay. I wish you well on it. Good luck. All right. All righty. Thank you. I think we're up to our final one now. Okay. Mr. Eric Abrams. There we go. Hi. Hi. Mama. Uh, hi, Eric. Could I Hi. Hi. Hi, nice. yes. Nice to see you. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Oh, there you are. Okay, good. My question is, do you ever write letters? Yes. Who do you write it to? In to your handwriting? Handwriting, good. Excellent. Yes. You know why? Because every, every word processor, everyone has Lucida Bright and, you know, Chicago. Nobody has your handwriting. No matter what it's like, it's yours. <laughs> and a valuable gift. May I say something? Please. Uh, because of a letter, I got married. When I was in Europe, my, uh, before I, m I married my husband, he sent uh -huh. me a letter saying he loved me and he wanted <laughs> me to marry him. <laughs> and that was it? That was it. You know, that is the most wonderful note to end on. A nice romantic, oh, I'm so happy to hear that. And good for you. And it's always brave to say yes, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Oh, I wish you all well for your whole lives. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Eric. Well, Janet. Thank, yes, you. thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna show you one quick thing. Yes. Because I think that envelope that you send off, that envelope that you put in the mail is the gift wrap for the present that your love letter is. And I wanna just point out, the post office is your best partner. Look at those stamps for people who are artists. We've had some artists here today, some designers. You might wanna use one of these on your envelope somebody feeling a little uncertain and a little nervous about life and needs some encouragement. They have stamps that say peace, beautiful calming stamps. And here's one. Oh yes. Okay. For that lovely man whose gardening teacher he loves so much, there are flowers. There are so many beautiful stamps. So when you think about when you take the envelope, you might want to think about what stamp you put on that's going to speak to the person. And if you can't get to the post office, you know, we're still mid pandemic and we're not supposed to be going places. You can order them online and the choices are gorgeous. They're little works of art. And the United States post office is your partner in this world of love letters. And they are standing by ready to serve. That's all. Thank you, everybody. I'm so glad I got to talk to you all. Oh, Janet, thank you, thank you, thank you. It has been a joy and a pleasure. And I always, I always love I love you, period. Thank you. I love you, period. Yes, we're a, <laughs> we're a wonderful love duo. We are. And we've written to each other. Yes, we have. We've written to each other, even though we can pick up the phone and we can email. But when I see an envelope with your handwriting, I know just what it is. Yes. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll tell you goodbye for now. Oh, well, thank you. All right, everybody. We could uh, unmute everybody. And, and thank you, Janet. Thank, thank you. And, I, and I hope I get to talk to time. many of you again. Uh, yeah, I hope so. It was okay. it was nice meeting okay. you. Yeah, thank you. It was nice great meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. I had I had a wonderful time. Yeah. So thank Me you too. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank you. 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 Thank you.